Dr. Blackwell, while you were in New York City, the country was entering the Civil War. How did you respond to that? Well, Emily, and I, when the Civil War started, Emily and I wanted, immediately wanted to do something. And we knew that we weren't going to be acceptable as part of the Union Army. We didn't think that would work out. So there were hundreds of nurses, of women in New York that wanted to be nurses for the um, Civil War, but they weren't trained. And we had a meeting at Cooper Union, and then with all of these people that were so interested in it, you know, we wanted to help them out. So we designed a course to teach them about hygiene, things that I had learned from uh, Florence Nightingale, and to teach them how to care for wounds and something about nutrition to help the Union soldiers. After they finished that, we sent them off to um, Dorothea Dix, who was in charge of the nursing corps, and she was happy to accept our nurses. She did have some sort of strange requirements, I mean, restrictions. She didn't want any young, really young women, and she didn't want any beauties, but, she, but we thought it was good to train them, and we did train them. The other thing that we did is a lot of people were trying to send food and medical supplies to the Union Army, but they needed to organize an organization. So we started an organization, a relief organization, and uh, had a very uh, influential board for that. And that event, those, the men from that board went to Washington to share what we had done. And that eventually led to the uh, Sanitary Commission um, for the Union Army. Uh, we, of course, Emily and I didn't get any credit, but that wasn't a surprise. We sort of mm -hmm. predicted that. And I even wrote to my friends that we wouldn't get any credit for that. And later, Clara Barton used that foundation to start the Red Cross. Wow. 